Stripper Thursday! Woo! We're at the factory down in Long Beach, and this place freaking rocks. And we're here with Natalie and Eric Gutenkopf. That's it, you That's got it. That's Eric, alright. Yay! Yeah, we tried to come on the, bad like way, the slowest the bad way night they had, and yeah. this, is, this is all we could get, so... Yeah, nice. <laughs> So Natalie, tell us a little bit about your bar because this place this is this is a nice refreshing addition to Atlantic Avenue. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, the uh, the factory is all about sustainability. Um, we have grass fed beef. I work directly with my rancher, so a lot of restaurants, you know, they use grass fed, but they're doing it through a supplier. I know my rancher; it's a father son team. They hand deliver the meat once a week. I'm um, a grass-fed chicken. I work with the Aquarium of the Pacific, so all of my seafood is sustainable. Um, I try to do everything as local as possible, all the way down to my beers and wines. So my beer is here tonight. Um, we're having a beer fest. It's a celebration of local brewers. Everybody that, are here, that is here tonight is um, all the local brewers that have literally helped me make it through this first year. Right it's, the, it's these guys like Aaron from, from Bootleggers and Michael Bowe from Angel City. And it's all these guys that have come in here and done tastings and done beer dinners and given their time to me to be able to um, you know, do these events that has created a buzz and had people come to this little random town of Bixby Knowles, this Bixby suburb Knowles. of yeah, Long, Long Beach, Beach that nobody's ever heard of. Long yeah. Beach pretends to be New York and it has all these boroughs in it, you know? <laughs> it's like, because it, like, you got Bixby Knowles and Signal Hill and, you know, so how does how has the Long Beach community been with the craft beer? Have you, have you had problems not selling macro beer? I mean, do you run into issues with that? Like. How has the reception been for you guys? You know, it's funny, when I when I opened up the restaurant, or before I opened up the restaurant, everybody told me, wine, 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 wine. You know, this is a very affluent um, community. And, a lot of wine bars um, around here. Everybody's like, hey, you've got to focus on wine, you've got to have great wine. And we have a wonderful wine list. You know, um, Eric and I um, go up to wine country, we go up to Paso, we go up to Napa, Sonoma, and we handpick our wines and get, you know, small family um, uh, wineries as our focus. So we're like, yeah, okay, we got that. We got the wines rolling. Of course, the beer was just easy. I mean, <laughs> Eric and I love beer, and we're going to bring kick ass beer in. Right. And all of a sudden, we're realizing that our, we're selling more beer than we're selling wine. Awesome. And my community told That's me cool. it is a wine place, but we're selling more beer. <laughs> so. Now, do you consider this is considered a gastro pub, right? Gastro bar. Gastro bar? I don't know what the terms are anymore, so. Well, actually, the, the official terminology is a gastro pub. Right. But I put my own my own spin on it, and I don't know quite if that's really the best thing to have done because when you do a gastro pub search, I don't come up. Right. But being that the factory is about everything local, local beer, local food, local wines, a pub is what? A local place to go. No, a pub is what? A pub is from where? Oh, England. England. Yeah, yeah, okay. Where are bars? Bars are in the United States. In the States. United States, right. so I'm a gastro Bars bar. are American. Bars are from uh, LA. Right. American. No, America. <laughs> America. So I am a gastro bar. We're going to be drinking Ballast Points Tongue Buckler. Woo! And let's get a cheers for that. Cheers! Cheers! cheers. Eric, you're the one who picks out the beers, right? Is that right? Eric, you're the beer buyer? I am the... Uh, uh, I'm the beer specialist. The beer specialist. And, uh, okay. So generally, I pick the beers. Uh, we both really taste through most of what we have, and we know we used to have our own beer distributorship. And uh, with Ballast Point, we were the first people to distribute Ballast Point outside of uh, San Diego County. So oh, right cool. we have a lot of history and experience with a fantastic award-winning brewery that uh, still still stays true to its roots. Um, and you and you converted Natalie to craft beer. She was kind of a kind of a uh, a wino. <laughs> so you found her on the street corner with a, a, a bottle of wine wrapped in a paper bag. Maybe I would say a wine aficionado. <laughs> a wine aficionado. Okay. And uh, you know we 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 uh, we definitely traded. We swapped because he didn't like he didn't like wine at all. We traded and inspirations because so I have been eating wine great... spectator since I was like a freshman in college, and I have every single issue. You know, oh, right. I went to school in Northern California. I played basketball at University of Pacific. Our first team. Like outside event that we did is we went to one of my coaches had a winery and we went there and had a team event at the winery, you know, so I knew wow. a lot about wine. I, I didn't know anything about beer. We brewed our, our anniversary, 
our me our wedding match. Yeah, we had our me our wedding. Our wedding. And we had, oh, in, in, so we kind of traded interests. Also, I I love wine now, but. Craft beer is where my soul. Craft beer is where my soul is. Awesome. But I have to say, when when Stephen, um, if you, the factory is buzzing a lot. But tonight we're even more buzzing. It's our one year anniversary, and uh, this is our one year anniversary beer fest. Should we and cheers? So, yeah, cheers. 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 Thursday also just had their one year anniversary. Oh, so. right. Double oh, okay. cheers. Oh, yeah. right. We'll save that cheers for later. <laughs> we'll cheers that one at the end. <laughs> so when Stephen asked me, he goes, all right, so which beer do you want to feature tonight? And I go, I don't know. He goes, I go, let, I'll let you choose. And he goes, well, how about Ballast Point? And he goes, because we haven't featured Ballast Point yet. And like Eric said, that was just so absolutely 100% perfect choice. Because That's Eric what and I, I had a had a, 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 a distributorship ten year, about ten years ago, wow, and awesome. Ballast Point was the second beer that we picked up. The first beer that we picked up was from the Great Beer Company on the Hollywood Blonde, and the second one that we picked up was um, Ballast Point. And so we introduced Ballast Point into the LA market. That's awesome. And so it, it, I it thank you for was that. So perfect. <laughs> it was so perfect that you yeah. picked that beer because that was part of my roots awesome. in getting into the crop beer industry and I like, to, I like to say that Ballast Point is the best little brewery you've never heard of because they, exactly. they yes. don't get a lot of exactly. play. You know, if, down in San Diego there's so many amazing breweries and you know, a lot of them are overshadowed by Stone and Lost Abbey and some of these bigger breweries that have so much play in the online culture and in the beer world that like Ballast Point Every beer they do is so spot on and so delicious and so amazing that it's just like, ah. So and this is no I, think, different. I think one of this the no important different. things to note of, about Dallas One is they come out of a home brewing culture. Right. They're, they're a home brewing shop. Right, they, they just still have their have, home brewing shop open, right? Yeah, yeah. They just, they, oh, and that's, cool. where they're, that's where their developmental brewery is now. And they grew so much, and people kind of came to, they kind of had a small group of people who said, you know, our beers are good enough to make that next step. And they were able to create it on their own. I mean, it's a very entrepreneurial organization in that it just, I mean, they exude the the spirit that, you know, we like to see in craft beer. And it's truly a craft beer. That's awesome. What were you going to say, Brad? Um, I was just saying that this is no different as being an awesome beer. What, what is this? An American this is, Imperial Red Ale? Talk about Red? an Imperial Red Ale. So um, it's, it's got a, a nice hop characteristic, but very amber color. You get a nice little malty front end, and the hops kind of get you in the back and dry it out. I had never even nice little... heard of this, much less tasted it. Yeah, well, it's, it's a limited release beer. They, they brew it about twice a year in very small production. Um, Jack White, the owner of uh, Ballast Point, is actually here today. And I was talking to him a little bit about the beer before uh, before we started filming. And he said that it was kind of, um, he brewed the, they started brewing this five years ago, and it was kind of as a, as a joke. And because at the time, five years ago, down in San Diego, everybody was about as hoppy as yeah. you could get. Hop, 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 hop. And so they're like, we want to, we want to brew something that is just gonna melt your tongue off, exactly. Yeah. And so this is what what they came up with. And so in reality, they said that there's, I go, but but it's you're not calling it an IPA, you're calling it a, a, a red. Right. And he says, well, he goes, because there's really no category for it. Yeah. It, goes, it could be it could be a double IPA, it can be a an imperial red. He goes, there's really not a category for it. Yeah. So it's just one crazy whacked out beer. This is the beer you have at the end of the night because it really does. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of flavor profile off the next beer you drink after yeah. having this. Your one. tongue's ruined that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a palate record. Exactly. It's a palate, it's a palate record. We're pairing this tonight with some shishito peppers. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Tell, tell me what a shishito pepper is first of all, because I'm a little bit, I'm a little frightened of what I see in front of me right now. They, um, they're they're a pepper from Japan, but they are grown locally, and um, they come from like the bell pepper family. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. You never know quite what you're gonna get. You're gonna you're gonna eat one, and one will be really mild and sweet. And then you'll grab another one, your tongue will burn. So there's a surprise in every bite. Um, so this is basically the female pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. I had, to, I had to go there. So we saute them up just in a little olive oil just to blister them. And then we put a little shea manchego cheese and some sea salt on top of it. Oh. This is the 
That sounds amazing. Perfect food to have with beer, especially the tongue buckler. A pepper with the... I'm just digging in. You can keep Go talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. It really holds up to yeah, the beer, too. It does. So these peppers are great because the hoppy beers could really ruin your tongue, but these peppers just really are something that really holds up to those strong beers that we bring in. It's a well, yeah. great little appetizer. Well, hot and, one. Has and anyone got a hot one? You just got one? Hot one. Yeah. I'm waiting for one. <laughs> well, and, and the, He's going to get the hiccups. Every time he gets hot ones, he gets hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> I might have, this isn't that hot. The, uh, I, I think this goes really well with this too because um, the hops accentuate the spiciness of, of the oh, pepper, yeah. but the maltiness that's in this beer also tones it down at the same time. Yeah. But it, it's like it's kind of like this roller coaster in your mouth of what's happening. It's like oh, accentuated, oh, brought it down, like yeah, sweet, yeah. like, and it, it just creates this really interesting like dynamic yeah, it's like sensory a, yeah, overload. Exactly, yeah. it's like a party going on. It's like, whoa, everybody just turn the music down. <laughs> okay, cheers, it's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Cheers, cheers to the party. Tongue buckle party. Tongue buckle. <laughs> What's the future of the factory? Wow. Well, um, being a, a first time restaurant owner. In a hundred um, words or less. <laughs> that's gonna be hard. You better bring this one out. <laughs> um, I have surpassed myself in so many ways. I, I, I'm, I'm so proud of myself and what I've done. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, back to my I've, I've also made so many mistakes, yeah. you know, and I'm really looking forward to the next year to, um, I, I think that I've, I've really learned a lot and that I'm being able to this next year really move forward and actually cut myself a paycheck. <laughs> That's yeah, you goal. never make money in the first year. That's my goal. That is, a new, that is new Thursday's, Thursday's mantra. mantra. <laughs> yeah. that's, not a, that's not a lot. Yeah. yeah. Not that's a lot, lot. yeah. Just to pay for the babysitter. That's all I need. Exactly. But <laughs> well, once you get paid for your passion, I mean, But I think, awesome. I think I definitely am um, interested. I don't know if it's going to be next year, but probably within the next couple of years, I'm definitely interested in opening up a second factory. Well... As a regular clientele, I mean, I live in Moreno Valley, so I'm not here as much as I would be if You're I lived here. here. A lot, I am here a lot, though. I, I do get around, um, but I come in a lot. Your staff's amazing. They're very nice. They they handle the, the clientele very well. It's a great place to come. The people that come here, your your actual clientele, are awesome people as well. I've never, you know, because you know, you go into some of the like these pretentious areas, and you go into a bar sometimes, and. It's like you got these dickheads sitting at a table and they're, you know, and it's like, it, it ruins the whole experience. But every time I've come here, I've found nice people and, you know, and I'm going to say it right now, I'm kind of a loser. I go places alone and, you know, it's like when I come to a place, I expect to be able to find someone I can talk to at the bar. Yeah. And I always do here. And that's, that's my gauge for what a good bar is. If I can walk in by myself and have a good time and talk to people and engage, then I'm happy. And this place totally does that. And... Your food blows my mind every time I have so it. So you're, you're here quite a bit, even though right. you say you are. You're here quite a bit. What's your favorite menu item? The ahi salad. The ahi salad just makes my my mind just melt into loveliness and happiness. I just, Every time I have that, I'm just like, oh, God, it's amazing. So, yeah, I love the ahi salad. Yeah, we, like I said, we work with the Aquarium of the Pacific, and it's um, when we get our, our piece of ahi in, we get the full fish skin on. It's wow. sushi grade ahi. Yeah. And when it gets delivered, Is there any other way? It's, it's like this. It's like this religious experience. I'm the executive chef as well as the owner. It's this religious experience that happens in the kitchen. You know, the, the, the delivery comes in from Long Beach Seafood, and, you know, the ahi comes out onto Ahi. the cutting board, and everybody just kind of goes, ahi, It's very sacrificial. It's awesome. And everybody watches as I gently cut the skin off. Do you do that, the oh. thing that she does in Avatar, where she, like, puts it to rest? I haven't seen that movie yet. Oh. Oh, Spoiler alert! I haven't seen it. I know. I haven't seen uh, well, yet. Natalie, Eric, thank you so much for having us in your bar. We're so happy that your first year has been successful. We wish you nothing but success all the way down the road, and I can't wait to be here again Thanks. soon. So, cheers! 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 cheers, again. cheers, 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 cheers to a hundred more. Year. That's right. Congratulations! And as cheers always, to you. thank you for 
supporting the factory. We love you, New York! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, and as always, stay safe and drink beer.